Lather Games 2018. Today is Noble Otter Day. And I'm going to use Flying Hide, a great scent. Um, I like the description, so I ordered it and uh, really like the scent. And uh, uh, leather, things like that. <clears throat> Very nice, good performance too. Um, the blade we'll be using today is a Sputnik. It says Teflon coated on it. And then here's the back. I guess that's Cyrillic or whatever. So yeah, I don't know that. Um, that boy. Use an eye, Gillette. That boy. And put the Sputnik in there. The reason I chose the Sputnik is because um, we're talking about flying, right? Flying, so Sputnik kind of matches that. Fat Boy is one of my uh, favorite vintage Gillette razors. I just love so many things about it. The uh, brush today is going to be this uh, Samo Owners Club. It's a pretty, uh, pretty young one. I think maybe 20 uses, 23 uses, uh, something like that. And I'm going to take a little water here and with bore brushes you do need to soak them for a few minutes prior I use just whatever comes out of the cold tap um, and uh, for the post shave today going along the lines of uh, leather and uh, kind of a manliness um, a robust razor a uh, space age oriented blade we'll go with cognac and cuban cigars from henri and victoria it's another great scent that i think is in that kind of masculine family uh, with leather type scents as well and uh, so let's take a look at the soap i've used it just once um, it's a very soft soap and I have discovered that I pretty much need to use the whole quarter teaspoon med oh uh, that's good. I need to use the whole quarter teaspoon measure to get enough lather uh, for the shave for about four passes. I usually do three and a half, three and then a half passes, and then I like to have just a little bit left over for margin in case I make some kind of mistake. So quarter teaspoon, Dollar Tree shaving bowl, and we hook it out of the measure and just kind of spread it around. It's it's so soft that it kind of it's a little harder to spread. When it's hard, it when they're a little more firm, they tend to just take a real good hold of the bottom of the bowl. When it's soft, they just like coming up and staying on your finger. Alright, there we go. Quarter teaspoon. And you probably noticed how this is uh, from the Noble Otter. Um, when they first released their products uh, in 2017, he's redone his whole lineup, the, the designs especially. I think he's redone his formula as well to maybe be a little better. It's pretty good anyway. My, who knows what my hair looks like. I have uh, it's a little warm and I have been driving all day long. As if you've watched any of my other videos, you can see this is not my usual uh, shave area. All right. I'll say one thing about the Sputnik blades. Look at that envelope. I had to tear that thing apart. See how it tore and stuff? It, it was a lot of work because the waxy substance they, they put to keep it on the paper... It was just, there's so much of it that it was a lot of work getting it out of the envelope. That's almost enough for me not to use it. 
but I have, I have that. I have a few of those blades, and I want to use a different blade for each day of the lather games. So here it is. All right. Um, I think we're good, good to go ahead and start mixing up the lather, so I'm going to put, splash my face a little bit. all the water out of it that I can and that's the way we'll start. This handle doesn't really work very well when in my big hands whenever it's wet. So if you can see we kind of have a a very kind of light early dry paste developing. We won't spend too much time before we start adding water. Take my medicine syringe, fill it up, and put in about a half a teaspoon of water. And a great scent coming up to me. Now we've got one and a half teaspoons in. And now to refill the syringe. So now we've got two and a half teaspoons in. I'm, I'm adding it a little quicker than I usually do just to kind of see what happens. It's still nice and creamy. It's got a great sheen on it. Got a few bubbles. Doesn't really worry me too much. Let's look at the... Uh, flexible peaks. You know what? Why don't we just stop there and see what happens. If I have to add water later, I can. I'll splash my face one more time. Feels good. Oh, that scent's coming up. Feels good and creamy on the face. Doesn't seem like I've thinned it out too much, so that's good. 
badger. Uh, this boar brush here is, displays nicely, it holds enough leather. Doesn't, uh, it's not scrubby on the face very much, not prickly at all. Nice soft tips, and it's just going to get better with age. Yeah, can you see the, uh, I don't know if you can make out kind of the crater-like appearance there. I usually like to add a little bit more water when it looks like that. so that it sticks to my skin really well instead of just kind of laying on top of it. There we go. What setting am I going to use today? Well, let's go with a 5. Kind of middle of the road. Uh, a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit aggressive, efficient, but it shouldn't be. Um... Oh, that's very smooth. That's a, this is a good blade in terms of comfort um, for this razor, for my skin at least. doesn't feel aggressive at all. Very nice. Hopefully it's doing some good cutting. I'm, I'm feeling very good glide from this uh, soap base. letting my razor flow uh, very smoothly over my face. All right, a little quick rinse, kind of half rinse. That smells good. I'm going to pay attention a little bit more to the smell um, as I'm applying it this time. See how strong it's ended up to be. say that's a four or a five out of ten. I like that. That's a good good place um, for my preferences. As you can see it doesn't have to be like Santa Claus's beard. Not thick and white and all that stuff. Five. That's terrific. Glad I tried that. Now we're going to do cross grain on the cheeks. And then on my neck, the hairs go sideways. And so I basically, whether I'm going starting from the top or the bottom, I'm doing a cross grain pass on all three passes on the neck. It just seems to work better for this trouble, trouble area right here. On vacation, so I'm not going to be too 
analytical and anal retentive about the uh, shave. But I do want to uh, perform well enough to get a, give you a good evaluation, a good idea. Um, but unfortunately, if your skin and hair density and a whole bunch of other factors, if they're different from mine, then your mileage may vary. It may not be uh, a good blade for you. It may be. It's just hard to say. You just have to kind of try it yourself. I'm going to do a little half rinse. feels really good um, on my hands as I'm rinsing. Um, right there, just really good slickness. Very happy with that. It looks like I'll, I will have made plenty of lather. Um, that was a little on the thin side. I mean, it felt great. Um, but I don't want it to be any more thin, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of Remove a little bit of the excess moisture from the face before I put on this last full pass. Um, a lot of comfort right now, even with the uh, the five setting for me. Seven is usually about as high as I'll go. I think I've gone higher, but it just wasn't worth it for me. Um, and so I'm, I'm really, I'm very glad to report that comfort is still uh, very smooth, very nice, even on the five setting uh, with such a slick soap and with uh, this blade seems to be just doing really well. And, uh, Yes, I'm still on five. I could probably go against the grain on my cheeks if I wanted to. usually do that because I don't, I don't usually chase that baby butt smooth result and I don't do against the grain on my neck area because it's just irritates that skin quite a bit feels very good a lot of other blades, when I do this area right like I did, it, I have to stop a lot sooner because when I go against the, at some point the hair direction has changed and then I'm going against the grain. I'm feeling just a little bit of irritation now. It's probably because I've shaved three times over my neck area with, with the five. Um, but it'll probably stay at that minimal state. All right, I'm going to pause you while I do this uh, final rinse. Um, Sputnik did average for me. <clears throat> but this is an above average shave. And I don't, I didn't, you know, did I do a uh, neck only pass? I don't think I did, but I may have. But uh, this is an above average result. And, uh, and then if you combine that with the um, smoothness, the comfort uh, that the blade gave me while in this razor. <clears throat> I believe I have other razors where the Sputnik did not shine at all, but this guy right here, Fat Boy from Gillette, um, it was remarkable. A great feeling. I could definitely see buying hundred of these guys if you've got a uh, if your skin is like me if your hairs are like me and if you've got a fat boy but um 
I recommend go to tryablade.com if you don't have any Sputniks and you feel like trying it out. <clears throat> you can order them in, um, in even just one or two, three, five, whatever you want um, for a very small amount to give them a shot. And that's really how you have to treat your your blade uh, experimentation. You know, you just have to try it for yourself because it's a very subjective situation. I'm just drying my razor out here. Um, all right, so this is how much soap I have left. And I'm very happy with my mix. A quarter teaspoon of soap, maybe just a hair more, um, with three teaspoons of water. I don't know if this location has hard water or soft water. It kind of tastes a little treated. I don't taste as many minerals and hardness uh, type things that I do at home. I'm guessing what we have here is uh, uh, some pretty, pretty soft water. Um, so... That's pretty much perfect. Um, a little extra, but big deal. And look at that gleam. And look, it's starting to slide down on my fingers. So that's just, uh, I, I think I dialed it in just right to the way I like it. If you want more cushion, uh, a little bit, maybe less slickness or something, then uh, uh, you may want to add a little bit more water to that ratio. This Smoke Owners Club uh, bore brush is just terrific. Um, wonderful across the board. Highly recommend it. And uh, let's see. Yep, nothing to report right now. Ah. Uh, this has treated my skin very well after the shave. I don't feel any dryness or anything like that. I do feel just a little bit of irritation. Um, uh, just on my neck area, which is typical for me. It goes away quickly, and this feels the same way. Um, but I was shaving with a 5, and I got great results, so I'm not surprised at just a little bit of irritation. Um, so, this does have alcohol. It does have witch hazel, aloe, um, some kind of, yeah, aloe, a little bit of glycerin. So it looks like it's got some, oh, and it does have menthol. I'm kind of in a hot location right now, just a little warm, so I might really appreciate the menthol effect. I usually don't. That scent really does go well with the, uh, with the flying hide, um, just the, with the leather. That's a good blend. I really enjoy it. We'll see how that menthol comes in. It may not be very strong. Um, I really like uh, Henri and Victoria's soap base. If you, I highly recommend it. And this is actually their one scent that I really enjoy. A lot of their others may be too light, too, too faint for me, um, or a little bit on the uh, feminine side uh, for my personal tastes. Um, but uh, they might be right up your alley, depending on your preferences. Especially if you have sensitive skin, a lot of their light, lighter scents may be right in the money. Um, where you need to have, oh, I'm feeling that cooling just a little bit. Really feels more like a burning, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. Um, I'm going to pause you while I clean up. Well, as you probably gathered, I'm really happy with that shave. Desert Island question. Um, would I be cool with this setup? I was stranded with it only uh, for 20 years on a desert island. Yes. Uh, brush, post shave. Terrific. It didn't take too long for that burning menthol sensation uh, to go away. Happy about that. Um, and uh, the scent of uh, this is, is still lingering nicely. It's a great scent. Um, uh, right now, I'm really liking it. It's, it's grown on me even more. I liked it when I first uh, tried it, but I'm just really enjoyed as I've been cleaning up having this be around. Um, so I might have to make this be a uh, constant part of my uh, shaving equipment. Make sure I always have a bottle of that on hand. Um, very nice. Really happy with it. Uh, so, um, and the, it's one of my favorite razors. Obviously, I wouldn't mind having that uh, on a desert island. And the, uh, the Sputnik. Who knew? I sure didn't. Maybe in my earlier testing of it. 
Um, maybe this was the only razor it worked in, and so I thought, well, let's just not even bother having it. Um, now, or maybe the purchase of it is in a higher bracket. Um, if I'd say I'd probably pay $17 per hundred um, for the Sputnik, um, if it if it performed in a few other razors like it did tonight, um, if this was the only razor, I might not worry about it because there's just too many other great ones that, that work in across just about all my razors. Um, but, uh, uh, but they work really well. Um, the smoothness was there. Uh, who knows how much of that was due to the, uh, the slickness of the Noble Otter. So, flying hide. What a great scent. So this was a good night for the Lather Games. I um, hope something was here that was helpful for you. I'm tired. It's time to go to sleep.